Good evening, I'm Simon Boxall in for Donna Bush with your CIG TV News Brief and Weather Forecast. The National Hurricane Center is issuing advisories for newly formed Tropical Depression 31. The depression is forecast to strengthen into a tropical storm later today or tonight, with additional strengthening expected over the weekend. The system could reach major hurricane strength when it approaches Central America. At this time, it poses no immediate threat to the Cayman Islands, but the Weather Service will continue to monitor this area of low pressure. It's just over two weeks until the official close of the 2020 hurricane season, but storms can form at any time. Make sure you visit the Cayman Islands National Weather Service website or and Cayman Prepared uh, for guidance on how to keep your family safe during inclement weather. Remove all derelict and disabled vehicles from Crown Land on Webb Road, Rock Hole Road, and Liberty Lane. That's the message to unauthorized mechanics today from the Public Lands Inspectorate. Failure to comply with this request before Thursday, 3rd of December, will lead to the disposal of these vehicles at the Georgetown Landfill. The Chief Inspector is working with the wider Environmental Task Force to ensure the proper use of public lands is enforced and that the natural environment is protected. Turtle nesting season may be winding down, but there's no let up for those tasked with their protection at the Department of Environment. If you're planning on lighting a fire at the beach this weekend, remember you'll need a permit from the Department of Environmental Health to do so. This helps protect the hatchlings and keeps the beach safe for everyone. Turtle season typically runs from May to November. Today's partly cloudy skies will continue into tomorrow with a 30% chance of showers. Winds from the east to northeast will begin the day at 10 to 15 knots, increasing to 15 to 20 knots by the evening. Seas will be slight to moderate with wave heights of 2 to 4 feet. Moderate winds and seas are expected over the Cayman area as a very active tropical wave slowly moves over the Western Caribbean Sea, increasing the pressure gradient across the region. Remember, for the latest weather update, you can go online to weather.gov.ky or download their app, CINWS. And that ends today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Simon Boxall. Have a good night. Join Donna Bush weekdays at 6 p.m. for the CIG TV News Update. Get the latest on what's happening in government on a daily basis. News Update first at 6 p.m. Join Donna Bush weekdays at 6 p.m. for the CIG TV News Update. Get the latest on what's happening in government on a daily basis. News Update first at 6 p.m. Join Donna Bush weekdays at 6 p.m. for the CIG TV News Update. Get the latest on what's happening in government on a daily basis. News Update first at 6 p.m.